Right, today is the 1st of May garden thing, as you go. Garden tour, so there you have to look down here. This is actually growing for once. We were doing too good days ago. And these are growing. I'm hoping these are crossbears or cosmeas. Uh, they might be. I call them Gary Baldies because uh, I can't pronounce it, you know what I mean? Um, that's still down there. That is looking really good. It's got um, buds coming on it. They don't flower till um, autumn. And this one is probably, looks like it's getting a little bit better, but that stick there looks like it's dying. And there we go. I'm pretty sure this is the honeysuckle. I'm not 100% sure, but looks like it. And that's um, coming out, which is not supposed to. There's some up here as well. Look at that. So I'm not sure if that's honeysuckle, because there's a strawberry fields here. And I'm not 100% sure until it flowers, but I think that's the honeysuckle. And there's a, this must be here, the um, strawberry fields. But we'll know until middle of May, end of May, see, see what's going on. But the honeysuckles are coming out really early. This over here is the raspberry plant. I was going to get rid of this, but then I saw um, ladybirds on it and stuff. And there's an insect garden. This is starting to come out, even though it's been getting a bit of damage and stuff. I'm hoping it'll grow because the fact is it's got two flowers on it now, as you can see. Or oh, nearly two flowers. That's good. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, this is the Pontiella. I'm sure it was getting flowers on it, but it's disappeared from less there, and that was just showing. Yeah. This grassy stuff, I don't know what this is, it's just, I just left it there. Alright, that's my um, thing. This is my um, camellia. Uh, probably been getting sun damage, it always happens, I guess, eat and stuff like that, but it'll be cool. By the time I come around to the next flower, it'll be all be good again. This is my um, clematis. I cut it down a bit about a month ago and it's going up so we're going to make it go in arch shape. <laughs> I have some like string around it to keep it up a bit but it's actually grown, it's actually getting taller so that's cool. Um, this has got nice and red and green so I cut the bits out, I don't think it's dying, I think it's supposed to look like that like I'm not sure like, I've never seen that before where I live, by the way, I'm in the UK, up in the northwest. Them are still there. Winter pansies, they are. Them ones. Winter pansies. I don't know what these are yet until they start flowering. I haven't got a clue. I'm just going to keep them there until they flower. If they've got flowers on it and they're good for bees and them, I'm just going to leave it. This starting to get a bit of bud on it, which is good. Which means that in all come autumn they're going to be all right. That is starting to get some flowers on it. That's a geranium intense in the back garden. They're looking really good. Um, these are starting to get little flowers coming on. Can you see that? So that's good. But it seems to have lost some leaves around there. Maybe they've been eaten by snails and stuff. <coughs> Another geranium intense and geranium intense. So if I only got one, where's the other one of them now? Or is it down here, I think? Down there. So hopefully, yeah. Looking, looking very colourful in the front garden. So I'll look over here. Like I say, I think, I don't think these are Garibaldi's, I think these are Cosmias, the red ones, the fire ones. Now what was, going to move this. This is a hindranger paniculator, but where I live, it flowers late autumn and lasts for about two or three weeks, which is a bit of crap. But as you can see, there's a bit of growth on it. Bit of growth here. 
so I felt, and I wanted to move it, but I can't move it now because um, I don't want it dying. This is a blueberry bush. Again, I wanted to move this uh, and put something else here, but um, I can't do that. I can't do that until the winter, until that goes dormant and that goes dormant because I want to put a bell malvy or about well, a wallflower in the middle which i'm still going to do anyway but yeah there are definitely carry baldies over there um this is my elephant's ears i think it's eight ears i thought it's it's flowered this year and it's not supposed to and it's been absolutely brilliant these down here look at that and this one is from a cinnamons the longest I've seen them flowered for it looks really well, it really does there's some over there as well and this I think is a lavender it's not really done much but leave it around, it makes the garden smell nice and cool um, I don't know what this is but it's going nice and red and stuff I, for, I know what it is but I've forgotten I like this there's a smell of the flowers coming from somewhere Unless it's just on the air, but yeah, this is looking really well compared to the other one. This is the Firehorn. I don't know which colour, orange or red, but these turn into flowers in autumn. Um, that's my winter uh, rose. It's a hellebore type of plant. Oh yeah, the worst thing about having a raspberry plant, because I, I, I put this raspberry bush in for the insects and stuff like that. Uh, the raspberries on there are actually pretty crap. And I put that in. Unfortunately, it's the most invasive bush I've ever seen. Uh, well, I didn't just see that then. I have to take up a load from over there and stuff. And yeah, I've just seen one and uh, I was gonna pull it out. But yeah, can't see it. So there's the flowers down there from the thing in Mexico cherry thing that comes more out in the winter there it is there's that i'm gonna take that out oh, there you go i think it's a bit dodgy that is you know very impressive getting over there getting everywhere but yeah and there's my um start down there that's my uh vinca minor that is uh that's the blue air room. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in the garden. It's quite green. For winter flowers and spring flowers are still going strong. Yeah, so that is my front garden. Nice bit of colour. Nice bit of greenery. Now to the back garden. So this is my back garden, which the fence is falling to bits because you know I built it, but I mean that's all right. Got um, honeysuckle, trying to make it into a green fence, so it comes all the way over here, and um, hopefully turn this bit green, so I don't have to keep um, fixing the fence. All right, take you on a garden tour. I'm going to be doing this up later, so it's nice and pleasant to sit in. Um, sorry about all the sunny noise. So this is my um, back garden. So first off, I've got fence pots. Have you seen a fence pot video? And you know, I know I've got a lot more flowers on there. Um, so starting off in the first of April, we have got poppies and bluebells. <coughs> all along here, yeah. looking all nice. Poppies still yet to come out there. Poppies and bluebells, it just looks really nice, that does. So that's cool, because when I was doing work on it, I didn't think they, uh, I thought I took some bluebells out, but it turned out to be all right. Um, these are a bit fingered like this, because I kind of stepped on them. So yeah, we're just moving that a bit. So that thing that was growing, you see that down there? 
one of them is growing over here. I don't think it was that one. But this has turned into, I think it's a lily. I forget, forget these things. That's looking good. There is a, well, there's poppies over there as well. Poppies here, there's lots of poppies today growing in the garden this year. I did put a winter jasmine or something. I'm not sure where it is. I think it's over there. Oh, if you can see behind there, but I'm not sure where it's gone unless it might have died. I'm not 100% sure about that. But um, this down here <coughs> is my um, winter clematis, winter beauty, and it's starting to go a bit evergreen now, which is good, so it starts thickening up. And I'm going to put something to trail it around and around here and stuff. So, this will be my white butterfly bush. I'm not sure whether to bend that in, keep it, or bend it that way. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of that over there. The only suckles that's growing up, I want to like just trail them that way a bit. But if you can see, we have got honey suckles trying to go in bloom. That's really good there because it don't normally happen this quickly. Normally we're sort of strawberry fields and then after that it starts blooming and stuff like that. So it's blooming at least 30 days early. I'm, and I'm not sure if we've had a mild spring or not. I know it's been wet. This is a cool plant. Nice crazy greens on it. Everything has a different green. This down here is my um, winter pansies. That must be a poppy. Um, that's one. I put some new plants in here somewhere. That's one of them. I don't know where the other one's gone unless it's in between everywhere. Ah. Don't know what they are, but we got some orange eggs in the thing. Could be ants They're moving around. Oh, orange spiders. I don't know if we can zoom in. So I'm going to put this back. I was just like looking for my plant because I'm not sure where they are. There we go. Make sure that's all cool. Don't want to disturb the wildlife. Right. Yeah, that other one I was looking for. It's there. And there. And then I want to put in like a, a wallflower right there. Maybe one on top of there. So this is starting to come in. Get a bit of greenery in it. This is also a... Um, Hydrangea paniculata. There was another hydrangea around here, but it seems to have um, gone walkabout. Unless anybody else can see it, so I can't see it. Because it was growing sideways as well, so that's a bit weird. So let's go around here. Right. They are starting to grow. They're the um, phlox paniculators. Bit of um, this here, that's a um, poppy, and I'm hoping it's the one I planted, the um, jelly bean California one. But because it's grown so fast, I'm not 100% sure it will be. Right, I've got these little edges here, this is from 2017. That's that um, thing down there, that blue horizon. Hopefully, it looks like a geranium, to be honest with you. I hope you haven't been missold anything. Looks like poppies, um, lily, I think. Um, these are starting to get some green wheel as well. So that's that's good news, because it um, means are starting to take hold. This is a rose bush. I think it's more like a winter, springy one. This over here, what I chopped off, has not got going at all this year. I don't know if it's completely dead. It's supposed to come back every year. Um, alpha Alpha, but well, it doesn't look like it's doing out. This one hasn't gone purple, so there's a winter star Mahonia. Not purple like the other. So yeah, got a lot of honeysuckles starting to bloom. We've got it going around here as well. I put a little bit of a cane up there so it goes all the way up there and the laurel 
starting to get new growth on it. Hopefully we'll get some flowers this year. And we've got this colour leaf as well, which is a bit mad. So it'd be nice if it went all that colour, to be honest with you. That looks really good, that does. Down here, my uh, magnolias are starting to bloom. Um, which is really good. I didn't think they will bloom this late, but they're doing it. I put some dog violets down here, and you see the purple ones. But the other ones have seemed to have died or been eaten by some, or just like disappeared. Oh, look at that! We got a, a wasp or crazy um, insect trying to get in there. That looks like more poppies. See, I used to pull these weeds out thinking they were, they were poppies or if just like weeds and now I'm leaving them in. So I'm going to leave all these weeds in until the ones that I don't actually like. I mean, I like these um, dandelions. They look really fantastic, good for insects and stuff. But then you'll have something like this, which is part of the plant, I'm pretty sure. And it looks dotted leaves. It looks a bit crap dotted leaves, but, you know. Take it how it is. Uh, that's got a little bit of growth on it. That's the flocks for next spring. So there's a lot going on. That uh, There's a, a bush here. I don't know if it's a gooseberry or redberry, but it's actually getting some growth on that. And then if we go over here, got a little bit of growth happening. I'm pretty sure I had a flower there, but it's not, um, seems to have disappeared. And I remember when I said the elephant ears, how it flowered, this never flowered, this, but it's gone dead big. Um, this, what I rescued last year, it's got some growth on it, so I'm not sure if it's going to grow or not. That's a butterfly plant. And this is my honeysuckle what I moved from the back garden to the front garden this tends to bloom all year round this one and it's putting lots of growth on which is nice the winter one this is a different winter honeysuckle that looks like it's coming off I'm not sure about it but it does look like there's new growth on it but if you come over here so that that's another winter honeysuckle I think that's the fragment here can't pronounce it and that's the other one which i forgot how to pronounce all right so yeah everything looks like it could be blooming long ass video long ass gonna take me fucking ages to upload all that shit as well yeah yeah there we go looking nice that's me i'm sure anyone for the first of april